There are 165 luxury villas and vacation rentals in Los Angeles. Let's take a look at the prices. But as you can see, it's $5,500 per night. Luxury vacation rentals. I'm talking about expensive stuff. How much could you make on these? Airbnb does not own any hotels or any of the property. Or Uber does not own any vehicles. When a person books through your site and actually goes and stay at another hotel, that's not yours. That is drop servicing by definition. This is a luxury retreat site right here, luxuryretreats.com. There are 165 luxury villas and vacation rentals in Los Angeles. Let's take a look at the prices. So you can open up and look at the uh, pictures and stuff like that. Matter of fact, we'll open this one up. But as you can see, it's $5,500 per night. So what I, oh, you don't even have to open it up. My bad. Let me just do that boom that is the inside boom 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 so who are the type of people that would rent something like this all right these are the rappers the musicians the artists the singers the real estate moguls the uh, um the the high income entrepreneurs and stuff like that the the ceos and things like that see when you're thinking about drop servicing on Fiverr and stuff like that, the, the type of person that goes there to Fiverr is just other marketers that are from YouTube and stuff like that looking to get cheap uh, channel art and banners and stuff like that. So you're not going to be able to make huge conversions off of that. But when you go into high ticket drop servicing, this is something totally different. The customer that comes to the site is in a different mind frame and in a different tax bracket. So you're still doing the same type of marketing. You can still do Facebook ads, you can still do SEO uh, to get your conversions with this, but it's gonna be higher tickets. So the customer, getting the customer is gonna be the same process. It's not gonna be uh, any more difficult than if they were paying cheap, trust me, okay? Like it, they pay with the credit card and then they go, that's it. So you can just come here and you can look around. I might link to these in the description so you can just take a look. All right, look at this one. A little bit cheaper. All right, and then this one is 731 per night. It's eight guests and four bedrooms, four baths. You know how you like to do it up. People like to do it up. You might have even uh, rented one of these before watching this once upon a time. All right, so starts going down a little bit. Starts going down. Look at this one in Hollywood. $3,895 per night. All right. So you can live it up in luxury. I like this one, but it's $799 per night. So would you, what would you bump something like this up to? I would bump this up to maybe like $1,200 because it's like on the cheaper end and everything like that. But the ones that are like this, people won't even notice if you change this to $3,000. Nobody would notice this one if you change this one to $6,000 because they're already prepared to pay $4,000 per night. So do you think they care about a couple thousand dollar difference, especially when you give them a crap load of bonuses? I teach you guys on this channel to always give more, always give more than your competition. Don't look at it like you're coming out of anything, any bonuses, anything free, anything like you can give them a free guide. If they're visiting the city, you can put together a free to do list of free fun things to do in Los Angeles list to them and give them that. That would just be that would that would make you set apart from anybody else that's just going to hand them the keys to the room. All right, you can give them discounts on on, on uh, exotic car rentals because they're not trying to ride around in anything less than stylish if they're doing this for that night. You can give them discounts on party buses and blah blah blah, all different type of things. Just use your brain, use your creativity enough to get them to go ahead and purchase through you. Don't just make it blank and say, okay, you can. Don't do what these guys are doing. Even though they're making a lot of money, don't don't just like here's the price. You need to have after your price plus this, plus this bonus, plus that bonus, plus this bonus, plus that bonus, plus a discount on that, plus a discount on that. And you can do that by signing up to all different types of freebie sites and affiliate companies and all of this discount companies, coupon companies and things like that are making your own local connections like I like to do. 
All right, so restaurants, they're gonna be going to like five-star restaurants. So which five-star restaurants can you make a connection with? Uh, you know, call them and make a deal with them and see if you can get discounts for your clients if you're gonna do some kind of marketing or an exchange, sending them customers and stuff. Can you get some kind of discount for your clients and stuff like that? Very, very, very simple to do, all right? Find out what people want and then bargain with them. Look at this one, 14 guests, seven bedrooms. Okay, 6.5 baths. It's four thousand dollars a night. Like I said, I would definitely bump this up to about six, seven. One of those. Okay, all right. So you can just come here and look. But this is not anything new. This is not anything new. These are the people that you watch on YouTube all day, living the life, while uh, um, us and our relatives pay monthly rent and, and it's cheaper and all that stuff. Okay, all right. So here's another site called the Luxury Rental Group. See they only deal in luxury all right so they're attracting the type of customer that we're not used to if we're doing cheap drop servicing or drop shipping all right you have to portray what you want and you will attract it to yourself if you get if you get if you guys get what i'm trying to say okay hopefully you guys get what i'm trying to say okay so i don't really like this one come, come villa way all right these guys they specialize in villas all right, I'm going to cut that one out. Let's just stroll down. And these are all template sites. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to get this site built in maybe like 24 hours for less than 50 bucks. All right, looking just like this, operates just like this. You can have this site clone. All right, get it? Cyclone? Cyclone. Okay. Anyway, uh, this one is $13.75 per night. All right, eight. Okay, four bedroom, blah blah blah. Okay, okay. So they got some nice properties on here, man. Some nice properties on here, and you can choose uh, by by price and destination and everything like that. If you want to go up and be able to charge more, if you put more, see right now it's set to two bedroom, two bath, and all of that. So you can add all this right here, and then it will change. Especially the budget will go up. All right. So let me show you vacation rentals. I'm gonna close out of this one too. And then I'm going to show you how you will go about getting traffic to these. All right. So I'm going to show you traffic and then I'm going to show you, all right, David, I do want to do this one. This one is interesting. This is the drop service and niche I want to go into, the luxury vacation rentals, David. So how will I get traffic to it? I'm going to show you all of that. All right. Give me a second. Bear with me. All right. All right. I'm not lying. So you should bear with me. Get it? All right. So this is three fifty nine per night, seven hundred per night, fifteen forty five per night. So I just wanted to show you that it's not just one company doing this. It's not just two companies doing this. It's a crap load of companies drop servicing. This is high ticket drop servicing. I only bring you guys value on this channel. I only show you different things that you can be doing not the same that everybody else is doing so i want to give you guys a jump start a head start on the competition before this stuff becomes uh saturated and what i mean by that is right now is the big boys doing it and there's not too many uh lower level so-called marketers doing it so if you guys hop on it right now then you can get an edge on everybody else my bad that's an alarm let me cut this alarm off real quick one <laughs> This other damn phone, guys. My bad. We got a lot of alarms in this house. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so as you can see, I prove everything I say, guys, and I show you. I show you what I'm talking about, so that you can go out and do it your damn self. Okay. And I reveal a lot of my niches that are gold to me, just because. And you might say, David, why would you be showing us all of your niches? that you make a lot of money in because chances are a lot of you guys aren't going to do what you need to do to actually pull this off and it's sad though it's very sad and you consider that as a challenge go ahead i don't mind but majority of you guys i say 98 percent of you i might get like two people that say david i'm done setting this up oh i got my first sale or my first uh, tr uh transaction came in today david i just set up this automation this system or something like that i get that maybe once or twice a week out of all of the hundreds or thousands of views that i get on these videos maybe two or three people at most per week and that's very sad because that means a nice percentage of you guys are just watching youtube 
That's that's your life story. On your gravestone is going to say I was a professional watcher, a professional watcher. So I challenge you guys to make a move. Do something, man. Like do something, man. Do something. OK, so if you're watching these videos and stuff, why? You have to ask yourself, why are you watching? it? Is it just entertainment? Because if it is, just go watch some Netflix. If you're going to make a move, make a move. If you want to change your life, it's 2020. Look how fast that came up. You were just 18 last year. You feel like now you're 50. OK, so you need to make a move. Time flies. And the more you just sit and watch for no reason, the longer you're going to be broke and the faster your life is going to pass you by and nothing good and eventful is going to happen for you. So there's no point in watching this if you're not going to do anything. All right. All right. All right, so I just showed you VRBO. A lot of you guys know this site. All right, it's well known. So now, how do you get a site like this? All right, so you can literally come over here to Fiverr. Like I said, you can look, watch this clone. All right, you can search that. They will duplicate or clone any website. Or you can just type in this, man. Zillow Real Estate Directory site. So here it is. Build a real estate directory or listing site. Do you guys see that? Okay. I think you got some images to show you. All right. Boom. See? Looks just like what we're looking at. All right. And it might be another thing you can. Let's see. Real estate classifieds. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so basically we found you one right here. It's some more. I'll probably link out to them in the description or whatever. Never around when I'm looking for stuff, right? That's how I go. But anyway, so yeah, we found you a couple. You can also just type in uh, build classified site. And you're going to have a whole crap load of people that just specialize in building classified site. I will make a free classified site for you. Uh, I will build WordPress listing directory site. And you can just go through these guys and pick according to um, according to your your, you know, your liking. All right. So check, check this one out. I will clone ready made classifieds website. Boom. There you go. I'm going to link that one to you guys. All right. So basically, you'll give them any site. All right. And then he'll clone it. All right. Any directory site, kind of like one of these that we were just looking at. Uh, VRB, luxury retreats, uh, Airbnb, blah, blah, blah. And it will be fully functional. And you just get a domain for it and all of that. And then you start driving traffic to it. So, David, how do I drive traffic to it? All right. So you want to attract the type of customer that you want to get conversions from remember what i said so here here are some uh, suggested keywords for you luxury vacation home rentals in california obviously it would be your city mansions for rent okay so this is not homes for rent you're not going to go after the keyword homes for rent because that's going to attract anybody just just random people and you're not even just going to go after vacations for rental you're going to go after stuff like luxury vacations for rental okay mansions for rental condos for rental you guys understand those type of things and then what are you going to do you need to show up in here if you don't know how to do paid traffic even though it's very simple to get right up in here it's more competitive up in here you can show up in here and once you're done with your seo uh campaign which i'm pretty sure this is might might even be a damn marketer all right. Once you're done with your SEO campaign and end up in here, you don't even have to do any paying anything to get traffic. You're going to get calls every single day or, or uh, people booking straight from the site. So let's see how competitive this is. It's only five pages. All right. So let's check another country. I mean, that country. Let's check another city. Uh, so what I would do, even if you're not in that town, I would try towns that's not as competitive. Uh, you want to get a lot of searches, but you don't want to get as as much, you know, uh, competition. If you know what I'm trying to say. 
and go after keywords like this long tail 20 bedroom mansion for rent look at that 20 bedroom imagine how much that costs to rent out all right so you don't even have to have a real estate license to do any of this stuff okay so orlando florida vacation rentals Look at a lot of these ads. That's how you know it's profitable, man, because there's a lot of advertisements on this page. They can't even fit a snap pack on her. Okay? So it, it, it's, it's going to work for you guys. If you make it work, you got to make it work, man. And this is in pretty much every damn city. Like, pretty much every city, man. All right? So probably you will want to go after the cities that have the snack pack. Why? Because it's easier to get in here than it is to rank down here all right and it it only takes a little second to get up in here if you know what you're doing all right let's, let's see competition level over here in vegas in vegas look how crazy this is it's, it's 320 searches per month so here's another high ticket high volume niche i'm giving you guys with low competition it's only two pages let's check the second page there we go. And then it gives us the third one. <laughs> All right. So it's barely a third one. Okay. So technically, we'll just say it's two pages. All right. Two pages for luxury vacation rentals. This is high ticket. And look at VRB at number one spot with the paid ads. Why do you think that is? Because this keyword is super lucrative for them. And look at this celebrity mansions. You can rent those out. All right. And then if you want to get super local, you can deal with the people, uh, the owners, instead of sending them to other companies and everything like that. All right. Las Vegas vacation rentals by owner. You can rank for that and then make deals with the owners to send the people that condos for rent Las Vegas strip. Think of how much money you'll make ranking for that. OK, so I want you guys to get this stuff before it's all saturated. I'm literally trying to evolve the game for you guys. Uh, giving you new niches and everything every single day so that you don't all go after the same niche I have over like 400 different niches that drop servicing and SEO and all of that stuff works for uh, With low levels of competition like this that has high ticket and high volume Capabilities, okay, so just 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 <laughs> Go ahead and make a move. I showed you exactly the whole entire startup. You can have all of this set up with before the week is out all right you can have all this set up for the week is out look at this just come here have this guy clone a real estate site for you for well look at this it's only five bucks two days delivery five bucks and he can clone your real estate site you get you a domain then you get you an address you verify that address in whatever city that you're in or whatever city you want to go in and boom you start getting traffic coming through you bump those prices up uh higher than your partner is like i said if it's a four thousand dollar per night place i would do six to seven thousand dollars per night that way you have a two to three thousand dollar profit that way even if you only got one that month <laughs> you're doing it big man you're doing it big okay so look listen listen look look junk in the truck. it don't have to be that difficult to to scale up in this marketing game and that's what I'm trying to teach you guys. That's why I want you to change your 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 thinking because if you're steady chasing after 50 bucks, uh somebody was afraid to pay 69 bucks to get the damn tools and automations and all of that stuff that I was transferring over to them for free from Builder all they need. Then you need the damn account so that I can transfer these sites over to you my funnels and and chatbot sequences and automations over to you so somebody was scared to pay freaking 69 dollars that's not the mentality that's going to be the future millionaires or billionaires that you think you're going to be if you're afraid investing into the tools to do the job you will slam the door on a roofer that came to your house talking about fixing a roof but was afraid to get his tools like i don't have no tools but i do know how to fix your roof get the hell out of here Somebody's supposed to cut the grass, but they want to use your line more, but they're going around the city like they got a legitimate company. You, They need to pay for their own line more. All right. It's the same thing. A painter come to your house. They have their own tools. A plumber come to fix something. He doesn't say, hey, can you go out in your tool shed and see if you got this wrench or that wrench? 
they come with tools. So if David is transferring his entire business over to you, the entire setup, all the systems and automations, and David ain't charging you, you should be able to stop being a baby, get your tools, since David ain't charging you what he usually charges people for consultations. Okay? So, I mean, it's people on, on, on here that, on this channel that can vouch that they pay me over $5,000 just to talk with me for an hour. Okay? For for that guy that was asking how much I make. It was a guy that um that uh freaking commented on a video earlier today or something like that. Like, how much do you make? Do, 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 do. You don't you you don't wanna know. Or you might do, but you wouldn't believe me if I told you because I'm such a humble and 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 a, a regular dude. All right. But my point is this you gotta get your tools. You can't always be looking around for cheap this, cheap that free this free that okay fine you want something free i'm going to give you something free i'm going to give you all of my business set up it completely free but all everything is integrated on builder raw so you need to go to builder raw the link is in the description you get one of the uh the one of the accounts it doesn't matter but it can't be the free account because the free account won't let you use the softwares and it only let me transfer the funnels to you but it won't let me transfer the chat by sequences and 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 you won't be able to use the instagram autoresponder for lead generation and automations and everything like that don't be a baby man all right look at this you're going to be making thousands of dollars thousands of dollars per conversion on autopilot because google is not the only thing that i'm going to be showing you guys you're going to be getting conversions on google you're going to get facebook ads for this stuff and the Facebook ads are going to go straight to your messenger and the messenger is going to be connected to that chat bot that I'm talking about. And then they're going to make the booking straight from the freaking chat uh, 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 messenger. So you don't even have to get on the phone with anybody. Everything is automated on autopilot where you don't have to do anything but transfer the money to your partner when somebody makes a booking, which can also be outsourced to a virtual assistant for a super freaking cheek when you make in all of that damn money that is the entire setup all right so i strongly suggest and strongly urge that you guys go ahead go set up your uh builder all account below and you would immediately get emailed uh all of the templates all of the ads all of the systems and softwares that i use personally in my business and we're way past six figures per month way past anybody that's actually consulted with me personally know what david does okay all right so you get that you're going to get years of knowledge and experience transferred over to you pretty much instantly all right so hey you can have a click uh, a click funnels account you can have a, a a mini chat account but it's better to have everything all in one freaking area so i can just transfer it over to you with the pushes of a button all right so i'll see you guys in the next video if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe because david does this on a daily and david cares about you david wants you to make some moves and stop watching testimonials and become one all right do that so is it a scam when they say that you could make money start an airbnb business without having your own property it's just a lot of videos here's one myself but i'm going to prove to you with the guy that i'm going to be interviewing on this channel which is why you definitely want to uh actually subscribe but anyway he has 65 listings on airbnb let me show you the one that i was staying in right here called mario zool and if you've been on my channel any amount of time you remember when i was in mexico Mexico. So I was staying right off the beach in this beautiful place right here. And this is how much you would pay per month. And this is total right here. So we're going to see exactly how much that is. For those of you who think I'm just making this up, let's go ahead and check the reviews and see if we can find me on Airbnb in 2021. This is during the scamdemic. Here I go right here from Mexico, Missouri, David right here. So now you might be wondering, well, how would I make money with this? Well, I'm gonna show you a script right here a little bit later, and you're gonna see how we can go about not having to use anyone's property, not having to even manage the property. All right, so this guy, 
that I'm going to be interviewing is already managing the property and it's not his property. So now we're taking it a step further where we're not going to manage it, deal with any messages or anything like that. We're just going to help them get more bookings. Now watch this. Can I list someone else's property on Airbnb? Now this plays into the script that I'm going to give you guys. So pay attention because a lot of you guys might be nervous. And this is literally just copy and paste, which is why we have the course below called copy and paste rentals. You're not going to do anything other than copy and paste these properties that are making thousands of dollars per month and get your cut. So it says, yes, you can manage someone else's property as long as the owner consents. Such management may include listing the property on Airbnb and other related sites dealing with bookings. But that's what Matt would do. I don't want to do that. So when I was talking to Matt, back then i was like yo i could get you some more bookings and just in case you guys don't believe me this is what i started doing i started using my skill set trade and barter to get lower rent and and all of these extra cool things that i know how to do and teach you guys so look this is where it is a a rich area apply a car phase one long-term rentals and then let's see if we're still ranking this is a year and some change later okay here we go this is mine right here got my call fire number right there so proof in the freaking pudding baby so yes we do do this david does this all right so now we want to see how much we can actually make so let's come back up to this because it says that a, a, a co-host might get around 20 to 30 percent so we know that he's going to get around 20 to 30 percent we're going to take this right here we're going to copy this and i'm going to give you guys a script don't leave. I'm giving you everything, everything, everything. So we're going to say what's 30% uh, uh, of this. Okay, boom. So that gives us $2,936. So now that is what he would get. Okay. So we can't get that because he's the one managing the listing and going out and getting the deals and everything. But what we can get is 10 percent or even 8 percent of his. Uh, uh, let's just do 8 percent. OK, 8 percent of his 30 uh, percent that he gets. Boom. That will give us 234 bucks. But me, what I like to negotiate is a little bit uh, under half. So we get 10% and boom. So there we go. We got almost 293 bucks from a listing that we didn't have to reach out to the owner. We didn't have to get the furniture because his furniture be off the chain. Matt's furniture at all of his uh, 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 listings be off the damn chain. So I highly recommend them if you guys are in Mexico. OK, <laughs> but anyway, so we don't have to furnish it. We don't have to deal with anybody or nothing like that. This is completely remote. So now that is just for one of his listings. Let's say that we want to do this for the rest of his listings. Okay. So he has 65 listings. He got 65 listings guys. And are you guys starting to see the money? The fact that, okay, I got to show you the script and then you'll see how easy it is, but <laughs> the money adds up. So we're going to say, uh, let's say he gives us a little bit under half of his listings. Okay. So we got $293 times we'll just we'll just say 30 listings and we can get them booked up okay booked up for months he likes to have monthly uh bookings right so boom this is eight thousand seven hundred and ninety bucks per month off of listings that we didn't have to structure the deal we don't have to furnish it we don't have to deal with refunds we don't have to deal with any of that extra stuff now what would you send these people so all right so this is the script right here so first of all you want to find airbnbs that aren't getting booked up see he's booked like <laughs> he gets booked okay he gets booked. But what you want to do is you want to find Airbnbs near landmarks that are not getting booked. They don't have reviews or anything like that. And that's perfect. Why? Because watch this. Your blank listing. So that's three bedroom, four bathroom Airbnb listing uh, for only 
$7,000 per month. I use the word only on purpose so that they can feel like, yeah, man, I priced it right, right? People should book at that price point. <laughs> okay, so listing for blank per month is a steal. That's why I'm so confused. So now you're relating to them. You're like, because they're thinking like, damn, why ain't nobody booking yet? It's been on her for three, four weeks. Nobody's booked yet, right? So I was wondering why it wasn't booked up for the year or have any reviews when you offer so many amenities. You see what I'm saying? So the, the best way to sell, well, we don't, we don't want to use sales tactics, but you want to mirror how a person is feeling, right? When they feel that you can relate to them, it, it becomes uh, uh, easier for them to trust you and want to do something with you. Okay. So it says it's also in a good location, but hasn't had any bites yet. It's not the price either. See, so I'm I'm doing uh, uh, canceling, right? So I, we canceling everything out that it could be, so so we can lead them to the path. I'm like, well, like I don't know what to do. But then I say I have an idea of what it could be. You're near a few landmarks that I believe can draw in an extra booking or two this month. Now that sounds good. I didn't over promise or or anything like that. They don't have any bookings at all. Remember that, guys. So this sounds like paradise to them. I'm requesting permission. Remember what uh, uh, Google said? Can Is it legal? As long as you got permission, right? I'm requesting permission to show your listing to people near these landmarks because I believe this can get you booked for the year. <laughs> don't that sound good? Because the whole point of putting these properties on Airbnb is for passive income. Like I'm currently in Airbnb and we paid up months and they living good and they happy as hell, right? So it says, I don't need you to pay me. If it works, then we just say, just give me what I just say over there, uh, 8%, okay? Uh, just give me 8% and... We can continue or not. Boom. There we go. So, I mean, that's it. No pressure. What do they have to lose? Nothing, right? So, check this out. So, now, what is the strategy? Okay. So, we'll say uh, uh, um, short term. We'll say uh, houses for rent near. Okay. So, we want. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, popular landmarks uh near i mean popular landmarks in st louis okay all right all right so now boom let's see so we have famous landmarks in st louis we got the gateway arch you know i'm from st louis uh we got the brewery and that's on the south side uh historical landmarks blah 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 okay okay gateway arch jefferson barracks campbell house grants form okay so we'll say house home home houses for rent so usually this is going to be uh uh people trying to like pay and get on the lease. So what we want to do is we want to go after hotels, my bad. Hotels near grants form. Look at that. <laughs> yes, low it. Okay, so now we got hotels near grants form, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, so when a person searches for that of course, you know what I'm saying? Like they're going to pop up with the regular actual hotels. But people, when they, that's why they created an entire site called Home Away From Home or Home Away. Because people rather stay in a dang on home because you get to dictate what's going on, the noise levels, if there's any people around, where you can park, how much you can eat, and no hidden like fees and all that extra bull crap. So check this out. What we can do is we can either run an ad just like you see right here and we'll name it exact match hotels near grants form st louis missouri and we send them to the listing but not just that what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to play around with the name based off of uh based off of keywords okay so we'll say better better than hotels 
near Grants Farm, St. Louis, Missouri. We want to use Airbnb SEO because this is a parasite. Okay. We want to use parasite rankings. Okay. So we would name this better than hotels near Grants Farm in St. Louis are, are uh three bedroom uh, uh better than hotels near St. Louis Arch. Watch this. Let's say motel rooms near st louis okay so hotels near st louis arch and zoo see this is is good and then we had another one another keyword right here look hotels near st louis zoo with indoor pool okay uh, so choose three bedroom home over hotels or we'll say instead of hotels near St. Louis Zoo with indoor pool, choose this property. Boom. See, we're getting creative now. So now what will happen, we get to leverage the power of Airbnb's parasite rankings and everything like that to rank on the first page of Google. And if you want to, you can put up a super cheap ad for this exact match keyword right here for pennies. And now you'll start getting traffic to the uh, the listing. So what you're going to do is you once he gives you permission, so you're just going to inbox these people, the people that don't have any reviews or don't have any bookings, you're going to inbox them the script. And once they re reply, you don't have to take any pictures, hire any photographer or nothing. You simply go and uh, download all of these. Or if they have some up, uh, updated photos, you ask them about that. And then you download them. Then you create a profile on here. And then you upload the images. You can even take uh, the same description they got. But you want to remember to use keywords. If you're not good at SEO, then, uh, you know, but if you, if you're decent, you know, and you, and you get the point of, uh, of, of keyword optimization, you can take this keyword right here and you can go to chat GBT and ask for different variations of this keyword. And to write me a keyword SEO optimized description for my Airbnb listing to get people to choose my Airbnb listing over hotels in, in near St. Louis zoo, right? With indoor pools, boom. And you just want to make sure that you are listing that this has a pool and is indoor and all of that extra stuff. Soon it's going to be optimized. Now, when any anytime someone searches for this keyword right here, this keyword right here, and then they go into Airbnb, this listing or the listing that you create is going to automatically show up. So you can have a VA or yourself constantly reaching out to people on Airbnb, asking them uh, or sending them this script right here. And when they respond and say, yes, you simply have the VA or yourself snatch the imagery, snatch the images or videos, and then go and create a new listing with the new name. The new name, remember what we said, is instead of hotels near St. Louis Zoo with indoor pool, choose this three bedroom or something like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is super simple, guys. And you can just post and post and post and post and post and post, copy and paste listings until you make a crap load of money with this method right here. All right, love you guys. Told you I was going to show you everything. Go in the first pin, comment, join the copy and paste rentals community. It comes with a course. It comes with coaching. And we can't wait to see you.